sacrifice. It sounds so martyr-like that it's almost positive to volunteer to sacrifice something, especially for the people we love. That's where the term sacrifice for love comes from. But there is one thing we do not sacrifice for anything or anyone, and that is ourselves. When it comes to love for other people, it's like we have this huge capacity to love deeply and love endlessly. But before we can love someone else wholeheartedly, we have to love ourselves first. Loving ourselves doesn't mean being selfish or not caring about others. It's not narcissistic. Loving ourselves means that we cannot put our emotional, physical or mental well-being aside because we think someone else needs our love more or if we think that someone else deserves it more because they are a better person. You cannot withdraw money from an empty bank account. You can't scoop water from a dry lake. We cannot give what we do not have. We cannot contribute to society in the way we wish we can because when we think we're giving, when we think we're being selfless, we're actually not really giving because we're all empty. We're in the negative zone. We must extend the loving kindness that we give to everyone else to ourselves too. Not one human life is more important than the other. We are all deserving. We're all enough. That even as flawed or as imperfect as we are with our problems and our weaknesses, our life is just as important and as worthy as the the next person. It doesn't matter what you've done or did not do. It doesn't matter whether you're ashamed or proud of them because it's all in the past. Gone. Finished. The power you have right now is to accept yourself, your mind and your body. Love yourself so fully that you are able to extend that same loving kindness to everyone else around you. It is only when we love and serve ourselves that we are free to love and serve others. Be full of love and be happy always.